Beyond Photography Show, Andrew Boy. Well done. You have progressed a lot in your photography adventure and career, and also in movie making. So by now, you would have amassed yourself quite a fair bit of gadgets. You would probably have your HDMI switch, maybe your audio microphone receiver, or maybe even you may have your wireless Bluetooth transmitter. And here's the bad news. I noticed that no one exactly in YouTube talks about adapters and all this cryptic information that's in the adapters. Because you know, if you plug the wrong adapter into the wrong device, you're going to burn the device. What's that burning smell? Action! If it fits, you need to read. Well, if it doesn't fit, you don't need to read. Then you know it's not the right adapter. So because if it fits, you need to read, let's learn how to read all this information that's available on your adapter. Let's learn to read this little label here that is always available at the back of your adapter. It has input. Input means whatever that power that comes in from the main. Let's ignore that for a while. Let's learn the output. Output is what that's coming out from this jack here. Now it says output 5V. So the first thing we need to learn is the symbol V, which stands for volt or voltage. What is voltage? Voltage is a force. They call it the electromotive force. It's a bit confusing to understand, but let's use water pressure as an example. There are two tanks. One has water, the other one doesn't. So there is a force that will compel water to move from this tank to the other tank. So that is volt. So there's a force that comes in from the adapter that will be moving to this jack. So this adapter says 5 volt. So if you look at this device, it is 5 volt too. So we know that this adapter can be used to power this device because the hole fits and the voltage fits, so it's correct. But you have to remember, if the adapter is 7 volt, but the device is 5 volt, plugging in this 7 volt into the 5 volt will surely burn this device. So you have to be quite precise. A 5 volt device needs a 5 volt adapter. What happens if it is a 3 volt adapter? Will it power a 5 volt device? It will not have enough electromotive force. So 5 volt needs a 5 volt adapter. Simple as that. Let's move on to the next one. The second thing that you need to learn to read is this symbol here. Now, to read this symbol, you need to understand what is inside this cable here. Let me show you what is inside. I've got an adapter here, and this is the jack. So I'm going to remove this just to show you. Most power adapters would have two cables within there. So you have the white one or the red one, and then you have the black one which is soldered to here. So this one would be the inside, whereas this one would be the outside. So the two cables would be connected to inside and outside. Now, let's look at this symbol here. What it looks like is actually the view from the jack at this angle. So it's telling you that positive is inside and negative is outside. And this is called polarity because in direct current, one cable would carry one charge and the other cable will always carry another charge. So the easy thing to remember is that you have two cables inside, one white and one black. 
white is typically positive and black is typically negative or you may have cables which are red and black red being positive and black being negative well if you have to remember which is which very simple ambulance is always having a red symbol plus and that's positive and negative is always black day negative black that's all so having said this if it is positive inside and negative outside you have to make sure that when you plug into your device let me show you so as you can see the device says it requires a jack which is positive inside and this adapter happens to be positive inside so polarity wise this adapter matches the device if the positive is inside do not use an adapter which is negative inside you're gonna burn that device so the third symbol you need to learn to read is the current which is symbolized by a which stands for ampere let's look at this so looking at this adapter here you can tell that the output is a dc direct current adapter running at 12 volt and this is the symbol for dc ac is symbolized by this symbol and what it says here is a 1.5 a ampere which is current now 1.5 can power any device that has an ampere requirement of less than 1.5 let's look at this device it doesn't say let's look at this device it doesn't say either let's look at this device it doesn't say either strange why do all these devices mention nothing about the requirement for current or ampere? This is because ampere or current is not that fussy, unlike voltage. If you were to plug in a 1.5 ampere into a device which is only requiring 0.5 ampere, you will not burn that device. But if the device requires let's assume that this device required 2 ampere but you plugged in a 1.5 ampere to it it may not run because there's not enough of current going through it so remember this ampere will not ruin your device voltage will polarity fault will so do not use the wrong voltage do not use the wrong polarity and finally DC or AC now some adapters like this one is a dc adapter whereas this one is an ac adapter how do i know that let me show you just look at the output here it mentions dc and then this symbol remember i told you that dc is symbolized by this and then look at this adapter here it has this symbol this means it's an AC adapter, alternating current adapter. And more often than not, the manufacturers who write up there is an AC adapter and this is a DC adapter, but sometimes they don't do that. Now, you will notice one stark difference. With the DC adapter, it has the polarity symbol because inside will always be positive and outside will always be negative. But look at this adapter here. It doesn't mention that that's because it will be changing polarity every second in fact if you look at this now it'll be changing polarity every second 50 times that's why it has this 50 hertz symbol so your home wall socket outputs alternating current ac so that is why within a second you have a flip of 50 times of polarity that's why the ac has this symbol because it comes from this graph now the reason why manufacturers implemented the adapters is because they convert ac to an output of dc because most of these devices these days are dc devices you will seldom see devices these days requiring AC adapters 
This is in fact an old device. So there you have it. You now can effectively read what is written in the symbol of your adapters. So if you ever were to burn your adapters, which happens so frequently, you can just go to your favorite electronic store and buy yourself an adapter. So all you need to do is read the voltage requirement, make sure it's the same. Ensure that the polarity symbol matches with your device. If positive is inside, make sure that your adapter supplies a positive inside as well. Don't switch that. And current doesn't matter. Just make sure that you get an adapter which supply a higher current. That will make it more efficient. And then finally, you got to make sure that if it is a DC device, use a DC adapter. Before we say bye-bye, why not we do a small little quiz? See whether you understand what you learned today. You have a 5 volt device and your adapter is 3 volt. Will it run? No, it will not run. You need 5 volt. And you have a 5 volt device, but you stick in a 9 volt adapter. What happens? You will need to buy a new device because it will burn it. So you need to use a 5 volt adapter. You have a device that has a polarity symbol like this, positive inside, and your adapter shows negative inside. What happens? You will burn that device. You crazy? So it has to be positive inside matching with positive inside. You have a device that requires 2 ampere of current. But you have an adapter which is 3 ampere. Will you burn that device? No! You can safely plug it in. But you have a 2 ampere device and a 1 ampere adapter. Will the device run? It may not run because you're not supplying enough of current. But plug it in anyway and see whether it runs. Sometimes it runs, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it will run for a while. So make sure that you get ampere which is higher than the device requirement. Great! You pass with flying colors. So there you have it. You now can effectively read what is written in the symbol of your adapters. So see you in the next episode. And do write to us what you want to learn in this channel. That's why we call it Beyond Photography.